Hey, how is everybody doing? Last Outrider here with second part of What is Rogue Trader? And by donor request, we will jump to the requested part of what were Space Marines like 25 plus years ago? Now you will find out. Before the Space Mar first Space Marine Codex, there was this. The Legion's Estarte is the official title of the warrior organization more commonly known as the Space Marines. It is the most powerful and most feared fighting arm in the Imperium. Most of its troopers are recruited from the feral planets, where traditional warrior castes compete for the honor of becoming a warrior of the gods. Because the feral planets are rough, primitive, and untamed, their inhabitants make excellent fighting material. But for true aggression and psychotic killer instinct, however, few recruits can best the murderous followers of the city scum that roam the darkest pits of the hive world. Driven to extremes of insanity by the colossal pressures of hive world living, these merciless killers are usually ignored by the authorities. Indeed, their warrens are so vast it would be impractical to eradicate them completely. They make ideal space marines, and whole gangs of city scum are sometimes hunted and captured for this purpose. Some recruits come from the civilized areas of the Imperium, but not very many. Young recruits are subjected to many hours of intensive training and indoctrinization, leading to physical and mental changes. Their bodies are toughened by biochem, and their resolve is hardened by psychosurgery. A special black plastic carapace is merged with their natural flesh, forming a sort of identity tag, as well as permanent protection. All this preparation is intended to turn the prospective marine into a disciplined killer or at least a controllable one. The Space Marines differ from the ordinary army in many respects. Its organizational base and mode of operation are totally different. The basic unit, called a chapter, is led by its own Imperial commander. Each chapter is like a small army in itself and Although it contains only a thousand fighting marines, the chapter has the fighting potential of many times that number of ordinary troops. Chapters have their own uniforms, transport, non-combat staff, etc., and are fully capable of traveling to their destination using their own spacecraft. Because they are mobile, the Space Marines are usually the first troops to arrive at a scene of conflict, and they are used to mount strikes, raids, and surprise attacks. Their reputation for savage ferocity and complete lack of mercy has earned them the nickname Angels of Death. Each chapter has a home base, which may be an imperial planet, or possibly a deserted moon or asteroid. Some chapters go to great lengths to keep their location of their home base a secret, whilst others are quite open. The preferred location is an imperial planet where the chapter's leader will usually make a bargain with the planet's governor, paying a tithe in return for being allowed to build and occupy their own fortresses. Governors often appreciate having a marine chapter right on their own doorstep. It certainly discourages unwelcome visitors.
<laughs> that that is what space marines were before the sp first space marine codex now you know until next time bye <laughs> Oh, and all it takes to make a request is just go to donate. I think the minimum in the U.S. is like $1 and say, hey, I want to see this one next or whatever. You know, it's not even this in Rogue Trader. It's in anything. I've got all the first codexes, which I'm eventually going to be going through. And you will read it. Bye.